Unified World Super Walterweight Champion, the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora, is making his way up here to the ring, accompanied by his entire team. So one more time for the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora. Talk about maximizing the opportunity that is put in front of you. You did not think you would be in a position to be in the main event. And due to circumstances, you decided to take this fight short notice, and you certainly made the most of it. What's the feeling now being a unified 154-pound champion? I feel this was uh, bound to happen. You know, uh, uh, it just came a lot faster than we thought. You know, uh, I have a great team. My father, my promoter, Samson, uh, Al Heyman, PBC, all these guys help guide me to where I want to be. And uh, I'm just extremely grateful and, uh, for the opportunity. And thank you to Tim Sue for giving it, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'll raise your hands and uh, fire away. Hey, uh, Sebastian, how you doing? Uh, and this is Najee from Cigar Talk. First of all, congratulations, man. Great fight. Uh, extremely great win. Um, uh, yeah. Um, obviously, Errol came into the ring after, and, um, you know, he was really adamant about making this his comeback fight, um, you know, specifically in Dallas. I just wanted to know, how do you feel about, you know, sort of fighting Errol next and, you know, going to Dallas? Everybody has goals, you know, in boxing. You know, uh, he's a... Uh, He's a legend right now in this sport, you know, and one of the top fighters. So, you know, uh, I like to get in the ring with him, too. You know, it would be a great fight. You know, he's uh, uh, before that Terrence Crawford fight, he was considered one of the best fighters in the world. So let's do it. S Sebastian, Melissa Woods from AAP. Um, can you tell us, well, Tim was just saying he obviously wants a rematch with you. Might be one for Samson. Like, do you have a rematch clause? Like, are you prepared to fight him given that he gave you this opportunity? I don't know. That's not my part of the business. Uh, I just go in the ring and I fight, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to my promoter. Here, Samson wants to answer. What it was the question? If there was a rematch clause, and we'll tend to... Yeah, it's uh, verbally a rematch uh, clause, uh, but um, uh, I believe that I'm a promoter. I need to maximize the income of the fighter. And uh, most likely, uh, he will have uh, to wait on one fight at least, recoup himself, zoo, and then maybe we can do it. But definitely, he will be in America because it's uh, to be the fight of the year, and maybe we do two times. But first of all, we need to take care of the business. Sebastian, right here, Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub. Uh, earlier in the week, we talked, uh, you, me, Nonito Donaire, um, and I asked you, I said, why give up your for sure shot for the WBC interim title? And you looked at me and you said, Marcus, it's because I'm ready. I'm ready to push all my chips in and I believe in myself more than I ever have. Talk to us about getting through such a bloody fight tonight and coming out on the winning side. This is nothing new to me. Uh, if you've seen my fights before, I know you have. Uh, uh, my fights are always bloody. You know, I think this is another maybe fight of the year candidate. You know, this is a, a, was a tough fight. We knew we had a tough opponent for us, in front of us with Tim Sue. We knew we had a tough opponent with Boashuk. So we had a hard camp. We had a hard camp, and uh, I was ready for whoever they throw at me. Uh, it could have been a, a, a Mike Tyson. I'm not going to say that, but it, it could have been anybody. It could have been anybody, and, and we were ready for it. Sebastián Samson, Ernesto Amador de No Puedes Jugar Boxeo. No cabe duda que esta noche se tiene que celebrar seguramente eh, también este campeonato para México, por tu sangre mexicana. La pregunta es para Fundora y para Samson Luco. Felicidades, por cierto. No, yes, I think with this fight we really showed our Mexican blood, um, inside and out. But, uh, uh, you know, we're incredibly grateful for, for all the fans that came out. We, you know, we stepped into Vegas, and all the Mexican crowd came and supported us. We were very, very, very uh, uh, lucky to have it. And, uh, I'm, you know, on two weeks' notice, it's short notice, but they came and they supported me. They supported us like they supported Pitbull. 
And uh, I'm just happy that uh, all the Mexicans won today and, and uh, let's continue to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.